Hey everybody, this is Joe with GeoVision, back with another demo video. For today's video, I'd like to introduce some of the new license plate recognition cameras from GeoVision. There are two models that have built-in license plate recognition engines in the camera, and they are the GV-LPR2800-DL, as well as the GV-LPR2811-DL. Before I get into details on today's demo video, if you find these videos useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the exposure of the channel. So again, there have been two new cameras that have been released in the GeoVision license plate recognition series. The unique property of these cameras is they do have a license plate recognition built into the camera. What that gives you the ability to do is when the camera sees a license plate pass by the camera, it will not only record the video of that, but it can also recognize the plate number and it can store that plate number in an onboard database within the camera. This gives you flexibility in deploying this type of camera because you can utilize it with a GeoVision system, you can use it with a third party VMS platform, or you can use it completely standalone. With the LPR2800-DL, this unit is a little bit larger in size, but it has the highest level of specifications. So this unit has a five to 50 millimeter zoom. It is a manual verifocal zoom lens. So when you are installing this camera, you do have to manually focus and adjust the camera. It does also have 100 feet of infrared range and it can do dual lane detection. What that means is you can have the camera now looking at a roughly two car width wide zone, whereas with the previous generation license plate recognition cameras, you had to have one camera per LPR lane that you wanted to cover. These can also uh, record video and recognize plates at up to 62 miles per hour, so they can be used in a road application if you need to. One other big improvement on these two cameras is they use what's called deep learning license plate recognition technology. What that means is GeoVision's engineers have actually trained the onboard recognition engine on these cameras to where they have high accuracy rate readings. We're at about a 98% accuracy reading on these and the camera itself does not confuse similar plate numbers. For example, a B and an eight or an S and a five. They do, do not get confused anymore and you just get higher levels of accuracy in your plate reads. Next up would be the LPR2811-DL. This is the smaller of the two models. It is more of a bullet style. Um, it has a little bit lower specifications. Um, this one is a uh, two megapixel still, uh, but it does have a nine to 22 millimeter motorized zoom lens on this camera. So it's not as high as the LPR2800-DL that has the five to 50 millimeter. Um, it's got a little bit lower um, and it's only got 70 feet of IR range. So you do need to get it mounted within 70 feet to be able to pick up the plate at night. Now this one still can recognize a vehicle at up to 62 miles per hour and it can still do dual lane coverage. So next, I would like to just jump in and show some live views of this camera and what it's capable of and what you can actually do within the web page of the camera. So I'm now in the live view of the GV-LPR2811-DL. This is a unit that we have mounted on our Irvine, California office. It is mounted roughly about 20 feet up on the side of our building. And as you can see, it's looking at the entry into our facility. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can use this as a standalone license plate recognition camera. And if you'd like, you can actually view the real-time recognition events here within the web page of the camera. This gives you the ability to use it as a completely standalone unit. You don't even have to tie it back into any software if you don't want to. Now, the other very useful thing about these license plate cameras is they do have a relay output on them. What that means is you could actually connect these to a gate if you wanted to and be able to trigger a gate to open if a approved license plate is seen by the camera. This could be useful in employee parking lot scenarios or gated community scenarios where you want to automate the gate based off of a license plate. On the other hand, you could also use that relay output to trigger a real-time notification via a siren or a strobe light that you would wire up to the relay 
maybe you use that in the event of a wanted plate, or a, I should say an unwanted plate, where you don't want them to be at your facility and you can get a real-time notification. Now, within the web page, you obviously see here on the left, the live view of the camera. And then over on the right, you get real-time recognition results. As you see, you can hover over and it will show you a larger image of the plate that was recognized. And then over on the right side, you'll get all of your text data related to the recognition. So as you can see here in the picture, 7WSK160 was the plate number here. And then we did get a perfect match over there on the read. It also does give you the date and timestamp that is read there. So again, this can be useful when you want to use the camera in a completely standalone solution. You saw a real-time read just go by right there. Um, but again, it can be used standalone or it can be used with GeoVision software. You can also go into the setup window and this gives you the ability to actually do a query. So if you go in here to the events and alerts tab, you can type in smart events. And right here where it says inquire recognize database, you can click on this tab. And if you want, you can search for a specific plate number of interest, or let's say that you just want to see all the plates that were recognized for a certain time frame. You can just choose your date and time right here. And then when you hit search, it's going to give you a list of all of the results. So here we have our list of all of our results. You can see there was a total of 460 that were recognized for this time period. You've got your date and timestamps. Right here, you have your text recognition of the what was read basically by the camera. And then over here under card number, this column where it says photo, you can click on it and you can actually see the snapshot of the recognition result. This is a good example of a night shot, and you can see actually in front-facing plate applications, this does a very good job of isolating the headlights to where you're only seeing that plate at night. And I do want to note that really these cameras are going to be completely dark at night until a plate shows up, and then you're going to see the IR bounce off of that plate and give you a good recognition in a nighttime scenario. So if you do want to see the rest of the scene, it's best to always have a separate traditional IP camera as an overview camera, and then utilize these license plate cameras just to get a good plate read in night scenarios. I'll come down here a little bit further. This one was kind of at dusk uh, time frame, And then if I go down even further in our results here, you can see some, uh, some daytime shots. Obviously color during the day, and then you flip over and you get black and white images at night. So again, this is a good option here as a standalone solution where you can just go in and look and uh, do a query all standalone within the web page. You don't have to use any GeoVision software. You don't have to use any third party software. An alternative option for displaying the recognition results would be to connect the license plate recognition cameras to the GeoVision AS Manager software. AS Manager is primarily an access control software from GeoVision, but it also does allow you to display your live recognition results from GeoVision license plate recognition cameras, such as the LPR2800-DL and the LPR2811-DL. You can see here you have a column down the middle where it will show the recognition results of the cameras. You've got your snapshot from the camera and then directly below it, it will have the recognition results. Over on the right, you will have text data such as the date and timestamp and the recognition result as well. Now, within the AS Manager, if you want to do a query, you can actually do it through the AS Web Utility. So this allows you to just pull open a web browser, whether you're on the local machine or if you are remote, and you can go in and hit the LPR log application. You can full screen this if you want. Over on the left side, you have the ability to scroll down and you can search by a specific plate number if you would like. So let's say if I want to type in 8TBK397, I can do that. Up above, I can search just today, or if I want, I can choose yesterday, this week, a specific date range. You have a lot of different options that you can search by. And once I hit search, it's going to give me my result. I've got my snapshot here where I can actually click on it and it would give me the lot larger live view. And then I can also export this as a report if I would like. 
There's several different report options. I do suggest using the PDF option because when you do that, it will actually save the image of the plate as well as the text data. When you hover over the PDF option, it allows you to choose all results or just this page. If you had several results, they're going to spill over onto another page. Um, so that's why you would sometimes want to choose the all option. This has been a demo tutorial on the new GeoVision Deep Learning license plate recognition cameras. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.